for the border cubes, uh, this lab we're going to be making three specimen at each of the water to cement ratios. Um, we've already shown you them in the PowerPoint, um, but the one that we're going to make today in the video is the 0.55 water to cement ratio. We've already weighed out all of our materials for this. We've got our sand, 687 and a half grams. We've got our cement, 250 grams, and our water. The only thing that we change over those four different uh, water to cement ratios is the weight of water. That way we have the same batch amount pretty much. Um, and it's just gonna change that water to cement ratio for us. Uh, the first thing, uh, we wanna make sure that we're wearing masks and gloves because the cement can get in our lungs and get all over our hands. We don't want that. Um, so that's a really important thing of lab safety. And glasses, I've already got my glasses on. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start the procedures. Uh, what we wanna do first is in our mixing bowl, we wanna add the water to the bowl first. So 200, uh, 137.5 grams of water. We want to get all that water as much as we can. Some of it's going to stick. Uh, then next what we want to do is we want to pour in our cement into the water. So just pouring it in like that. You don't want it to dust up a whole lot, but it's going to. So that's pretty clean. Nothing coming off there. All right, and then what we want to do, uh, you can try and coat the cement in water just so it doesn't become a dust in the mixer. All right, that should be good. All right, we'll take our mixer and paddle, come over here. We will load it up and make, put this paddle in. All right, got it. And then what we'll do is we'll mix on slow speed. We got it on the one facing down. Uh, we'll mix there for 30 seconds, and then we will add the sand in the next 30 seconds on slow speed as well. So you can come and look and see what it looks like right now. It just kind of looks like a slush. And uh, I don't think the paddle's hitting the bottom of the bowl, so you can slowly raise it and try and scrape the bottom. But you gotta be careful that the bowl doesn't go too crazy. I didn't keep the timer. I think it's about five more seconds. All right. Now I'm going to grab the sand. This time I will time it. So now what we'll do, we will start the timer, 30 seconds, um, and we'll slowly dump this in, and then we'll stop it, turn it on medium for 30 seconds, and let that go. So I'm looking at the time, I know we've got time on the camera too, so we're mixing. about 30 seconds so now we will switch it to medium and mix it for 30 more seconds
now what I'm going to do is we're not done. We're going to let it sit. But I want to make sure to scrape all of it down into the mass of it. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll let that sit for about a minute and a half. While that's going, we're going to lubricate our molds. So the reason why we want to do this is because our cement and our mortar now will stick to this, this brass mold and we don't want that. And we want to make it easier to remove. So you just get some petroleum jelly and you just slather it in each of the molds up along the corners, um, just along the walls. It makes it a lot easier to remove um, in a few weeks after they cure. Um, and then we'll wipe out any excess too because it, it sometimes it gets a little too much in there. We want it on the bottom as well. So let's see. More. This is a really important step because if you don't get your molds out right, they can crack. So you just want to do that. All right. So I think our timer is almost up, but. Finish this real quick. Grab any extra right here. All right. I'll come fix this once I come back. All right. So now, what we want to do is we want to mix <coughs> on medium for another 30 seconds. So we'll raise this up. And while that goes, I'm going to keep doing this. get enough in there. And the reason why you tamp in that weird pattern is because you're trying to get out all the air voids that could be stuck underneath from scooping it and from mixing it. So we'll just, we'll follow this pattern here. I'm going to be watching it so I remember what to do. But I'm going to do them all 32 times, and then I'll do my second lift. But it's not hard tamps. You're not trying to compress it too hard. You're just trying to work out some of that air. Two, three, four, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, sixteen so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. <coughs> Last time, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now. Our second lift, like always, you want to put over the top so you have excess when you're done. So we can do that. We'll wipe away any of that.
Okay? Same tamping procedure. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. It's kind of hard to see those edges. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, kind of hit the start on that last one. All right, so next, what we're gonna do. Uh, so we want to make it a lot nicer than that because that's not a cube. So what we'll do here is, just in case we lose any on the bottom or around the sides, it doesn't get on the table. Um, instead of, you can't really push it off because it just kind of pulls behind it like that. And so what, what you have to do is, is you kind of make a sawing motion and it kind of smooths out the top and we can kind of push that to the side. See, it makes that nice smooth top on it. We can go back against it. So that looks pretty close. I'm gonna wipe off all that. Just try and get the mold clean as you can. Almost done. All right, now I'm going to, one more time, I'm gonna do that sawing motion just to make it look pretty on the top because there's some lines. So that's fine. That, clean that up pretty nicely. There we go. All right, now let me wipe it once more. It's a very tedious process, but it needs to be done. Put a little bit on there. Okay, that's pretty good. Wipe off this. Make sure, should have done that prior in the video, but I didn't because I knew it was good. Now we'll take these molds and go to our curing room and we will be finished. Come on and check it out here. So, what's happening? In this moisture room, concrete does the best when it's curing with lots of moisture. If not, it's going to crack. And so it, it's going to get really strong in here while it cures in this moisture room. 
So we'll let that sit for 14 days. 